I'm cooking fried chicken. Um, I got my grease over here in the pot. And uh, I'm going to let you guys see that when I get that in situated. So, today's seasoning, I use this seasoning, the Montreal chicken seasoning, um, and season salt. Plain, simple, you know it is. And y'all, please excuse the loud noise in the background. Um, they cutting grass outside, and uh, I gotta make this video. They ain't got no respect. So, um, y'all, I just got this tripod. Um, so it was a five dollar tripod from Family Dollar Store, y'all. I got, I had to do what I had to do. You feel me? So, I'm going to show it to you. So, y'all, this is the tripod. It's tiny. You got a little light with it. You feel me? You know, you can't get no better than that. So, I like to shop cheap. You feel me? So, I'm going to leave that right there. And, so, I have my oil. Which is right here. Don't take much, you guys. Don't take much. So, you guys, 
Well, I'm gonna do is I got my chicken. I'm about to mix it up. Okay. So my chicken is good and mixed up. Good and mixed up. So right now, all I'm gonna do is wash my hands. Y'all, please excuse the noise. It seems like they just getting louder than louder. That is so disrespectful. All right, I'm gonna put that right there. All right, you guys, so I have my seasoned chicken. I have my flour. What I'm gonna do is you wanna make sure that your chicken is, skin is pulled all the way down. So that way everything can get cooked evenly. Okay. All right, you guys. And I'm gonna leave my water running a little bit so I can um, rinse my hands. So what I'm gonna do is close this bag. I got my grease heating up. So it's not hot yet. All the way, it's almost there. There it goes. Y'all hear that pop, pop, pop? That means it's almost done. So, if y'all hear that noise, that means the chicken is ready to go in. All right, looks like my chicken is fully coated. I'm gonna put this in the sink. All right. Okay, so here's my chicken, you guys. I'm gonna lay it down in the grease. Get my other pieces and I'm gonna come back with this video. So you guys, I got my tongs here. I got this on medium heat. Alright, and I don't know if you guys can see, but here's the chicken. This is a little dangerous. Do not do this at home. <laughs> For the little kids, if there's little kids watching me, do not ever pick up a hot pot. So what I'm gonna do is get these tongs right. I'm gonna move them around a little bit so they can cook a little evenly. I'm gonna turn them around. Y'all, they already looking pretty. Alright. So, all we gotta do is wait until it's finished. Hey, y'all. So, I'm back. Um, I'm trying to get used to this little tripod thing, trying to learn how to use it or whatever. So far, so good. It's doing all right. But I decided to add some rice. And y'all, it's just some simple rice. 
um, while my chicken is finishing cooking. So I'm gonna put a little water in the pot. Cause you don't need much. Cause if you have too much water with these things, y'all, it takes a long time for the water to evaporate. So y'all, I got my pot of water and y'all can't see it, but I got my pot of water. I'm gonna turn on my um, burner. All right, y'all. And I'm using these, this kind of rice. Y'all, I think these are the best rice size, y'all. Because you know how you go to stores and they have that dang on cheap rice on the side? Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> it be all bland, the rice cook quick and everything, y'all. Ain't nobody got time for that mess. So right now, um, I'm just preparing dinner for my kids when they get out of school. They have a home good meal, y'all. So I'm gonna throw these away. All right, you guys. So uh, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take a spoon and I'm gonna just stir it in the water. And when it starts boiling, then I'm going to just take a little bit of butter and then I'm going to add it in. So, right now I think my chicken is done. So, here's my, um, my catching pan. So that way I can lay the chicken down. Y'all, I got to get these tongs right. Okay. So. I'm gonna lay this down so it can drip. And then I got like two more pieces to go in here. And I'll tell you guys what the chicken is looking like once it, it drains and do what it needs to do. Alright, so that part is done. Now I got like two more pieces in here and I'm going to just throw these up in here. Just put it in there. You ain't gotta drop it in there or nothing. Just lay it down flat. Okay. Then, you know, you can save your flour. That's what I do. I save my flour because ain't nobody got time to keep out no flour. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go wash my hands and then I'll show you guys how the chicken is looking. So, if you guys want to see how this chicken is looking, get this piece right here. This is how it's looking, y'all. See how fully coated it is? All right, you guys, so I'm going to let that cook and then um, let this rice come up to a boil. And after that, I will show you guys the ending result of this fried chicken. Bye. Hey, you guys. So, I got the rice boiling, as you can see. Um, I'm going to add my butter. You don't need much butter. 
okay you guys and then I'm gonna start this in okay the water has started evaporating a little bit as you can see all right and I'm gonna start that in and let that melt and then you guys I'm going to add some salt and pepper And y'all, um, right now I'm just frying the last two pieces of my chicken. All right, and the rice is almost done. All you gotta do is just let it simmer down. So I'm gonna let that simmer in. And I'm gonna put a lid on it. Okay. And me, when I'm in my kitchen, y'all, I like to clean up. So, if you wipe up as you go, you ain't got to worry about nothing when you get ready to eat. And that's just tips for people who, who don't know how to keep a clean kitchen when you cook. You know what I'm saying? All right, you guys, so my chicken is going bananas over here. So I'm going to just check it. All right, so it should be almost done. if I'm the only person who has this problem like you know when you cook chicken or anything fried and you put that first batch in and it be and it comes out all beautiful and everything and then the second batch be cooking all fast and stuff and even though you have the burner on low it still be cooking like fast like if y'all have that problem too please comment in the section below all right so my rice i'm gonna turn it off so my rice everything has melted my water has evaporated in the rice and you guys i will show you guys a finished product of everything on the plate and i'll do a taste test so you guys hold up and wait and see what's in store. 